Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use and configure an order bump offer at the checkout for your sales funnel. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm on the overview tab of WP Funnels and I already have a funnel created. Let me just go ahead and edit that. And this will take me to the drag and drop canvas with my funnel steps. And uh, in this funnel, I've already configured uh, the main product. Uh, I've added a product uh, that I want to sell using this funnel. Now, an order bump is an important thing within a sales funnel or any uh, online store because that, what this does is you can make an exclusive offer. This could be a specific product that of low value uh, that complements the product a person is already buying and you can allow the buyer to just add it to the order with just a click and this would appear right on the checkout step when they're about to make the payment. So this is a great way to increase your revenue. So order bump is pretty crucial and in WP Funnels, you actually assign the order bump through the checkout step. So once you're on the canvas, just select the checkout step, go to the configure drawer and here on top, you'll see there are a few options. Uh, the product is where you assign the product. To assign an order bump, you need to go to the order bump tab. And here, click on Enable Order Bump, and this will uh, allow you to add the order bump. So the first thing you do is that you need to assign the main product you want to offer as the order bump. So let me just uh, look for another ebook related to design. Let's say, uh, let's say I'm just having an ebook which is an Ultimate Marketing Designs ebook. Okay. Uh, now, once you add that, you can see on the right side you have a preview, and when you call in. This product, the name will appear here and the price is already here. All you need to do is customize the other text, which is this one. So this one is the highlight text. So let's say get an exclusive discount. So let's say 20% off. All right, now uh, over here, this is just giving me a preview of a small area. That's why the alignment might not be perfect, but obviously, you can check that out in the front and later on to make sure that the alignment is working just fine. Uh, next is uh, defining the description. Uh, let's say I'm just going to write change your design skills into what is best suited for marketing. Get the best guy at the low cost. There you go. This looks like a pretty good uh, description for the order bump offer. And this one is the uh, checkbox label. Uh, you can change it right here. So I think this is pretty good. Grab this offer with one click. Everyone would like that. Uh, you can change the color of this place by clicking over here. So let's say I'm going to choose uh, something greenish to match the book. Uh, let's go there. Well, it's hard to find that color there you go so this one is pretty close i think uh i'll just go a bit lower there you go so i've just matched it and this looks just fine okay uh, we also have a couple of templates for the order bump what i'm using right now is style one uh, you can obviously choose the other one which is style two it looks something like this okay so both of them are pretty good and effective uh, other than that, you have the option to choose the order bump position, but it's best to view that when you're editing the checkout step uh, visually. Okay, I'll show that to you in a bit. Now, if you scroll down uh, at the bottom, you'll see the discount type. Uh, I've just selected original. Which, this is just going to use the default uh, prices I've used in my store. So if it has a sale price, this will be on a discount. If, the, if it doesn't have a sale price, it's just going to show the original price here. But uh, the specialty here is that I can add an exclusive discount to the order bump if I want to. I can just click over here and choose if I want to add a percentage or a flat amount discount. So I'll just choose percentage. And uh, over here you can see it lets me choose if this is going to be uh, applied on the regular price or on the already sale price in the store. So let's say I'm just going to choose it on the regular price uh, and I'm just going to add a 20% discount to this. When I do that, you can see the price of this will be calculated right here. Now, this obviously doesn't make sense because uh, the sale price itself was 15. Why would I give an offer that cost even more? So let me just change this to, let's say, 40% uh, and uh, let's give a 40% discount to this. Uh, and now you'll see 
that there's a discounted price of $12. There you go. So this is a pretty good offer, all right? So uh, now, once I have decided a discount on this, I have decided the content, this order bump is pretty good, okay? I'm just gonna click on Save Changes, and I'll cross this out. Now, I'm gonna show you how you can change the order bump position. Now, uh, I'll just point out one thing that for this funnel, I've used Elementor uh, as my default page builder. Uh, so when I edit this, it's gonna open up uh, in Elementor and I'm gonna show you how you can change the position through the uh, checkout widget in the checkout step. Uh, you can do the same when you use Gutenberg. Uh, just go to the options in the uh, checkout block and there you'll get the option to change the position. I'll have a separate video where I explain how to change the uh, position of the order bump for each of the page builders, okay? So now uh, the checkout step is loaded and as you can see on this page, it already has the order bump placed. Now by default, we have made the position of the order bump to be before the order details, which is right before the order details over here, but you can obviously change that. So click on the form and go to the options and here you can see enable order bump, it says yes. Previously in the videos, I showed you that it's always no and I told you that it's best to deal with this when you have assigned a product in the canvas. I just assigned a product in the canvas a few moments ago, so this one is fine. Uh, now I can change the content directly from here if I want to and uh, I can change the style. If I want to change the product, I have to do it from the canvas. But over here, the specialty is I can change the position and get a preview of it right away. So let's say I want it to be before all the checkout details, all right? Let me choose that. And you can see it's coming on top of all the checkout details, okay? Now, uh, let's say if I want it uh, to be uh, after customer details, all right? So, which means it's below these details. This is where the offer is gonna appear, okay? So basically we have a lot of positions and we also have an option to give a pop-up offer, all right? I'll create a separate video about the pop-up offer uh, order bump because that's a special feature we have, okay? So yeah, so that's how easily you can uh, view the position uh, over here and you have the order bump in your page. So let me just give it to before order details, which is usually the best uh, position to make order bump offers. So let me just update this. And now the checkout step will have an order bump whenever someone enters and they'll be able to uh, add the order bump offer in just a click. Let me just show you. Let me preview this page. And now I'm on the checkout step and I have the order bump. So I can just click on this and you'll see that this will be added uh, to my order. And if I don't want this, I can again click on this and uh, this will be removed from my order. So that's how easy it is to use order bump uh, in your sales funnel using WP Funnels. All right. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.